Hello Cancer and welcome to 1111 Tarot. This is your January 2021 and this is the 1111 Wheel of Life and it's how I work on my spreads. Let me move the mouse out of my way, right? Okay Cancer, all the decks have been pre-shuffled, pre-smudged, and pre-meditated on. So I'm just cutting the deck to get your energy in here. And I always start on my spread with a great spirit. And uh, with that, I like to use an Oracle Love deck just because it's unconditional love coming from great spirit. Oh, before I forget, if you're interested in learning tarot, I am going to be hosting a free online live interactive tarot course with whoever would like absolutely free in January so make sure you subscribe so that you're in that list and then you'll be hearing all kinds of details as we get closer it will be happening in January and signups next week so here we go my lovelies great spirit what do you have to say oh wow you've got the same card as the deck overall look Nice. All right, my lovelies, here we go, Cancer. It says, I love you. These are powerful words. Let me get a little closer here. You have a 20, which I always think of it like double tapping a cycle, like you did it twice. You pulled out the lesson the second time, and uh, with that, rewards are coming in you double tapped some sort of a cycle closed and anytime you close a cycle and you move forward you see that wheel turn this wheel is turning towards something very important this could be towards your family it could be it's towards someone let's dig in and see who it's about cancer all right i've got us the chakra wisdom tarot here we're going to cut that deck. And we're going to dig into our cosmos that circles this great divine. So we'll go air, earth, fire, and then we're going to go water. All right, lovelies, here we go. In earth, the air, 5D, the collective speaks and says, King of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be a male energy, but it is a masculine energy. Very strong masculine energy. This is somebody that is slow moving, but they are being manifest, and this is stability. This could be your own energy. If you are single and you're head of household, you can be considered the king of coins because it's all interchangeable. Energy as well as time is all interchangeable it's fluid if this isn't you cancer it could be you have a Leo coming towards you um, also when you see the king of Pentacles we're looking at Taurus and Aries as well so you might want to check your birth chart let's continue on in our self node which is our earth re earthly realm right here right the star someone cancer somebody has their eye on you it's being manifested which means that you're co-creating with the divine as well as because the divine says i love you this is a very good connection coming in i don't think you see it yet it's in the 5d but it is coming in you are also more focused currently in healing and just healing the pains within to get solid. I do feel you are single and you are getting very comfortable in that position. Look at that beautiful heart. Like there's a self-love here, a self-healing and you're co-creating. This is a major arcana in your self node. This is divine healing you as well. And it's like you asked for the help and accepted. And this brings in a wish fulfillment. So let's move up here into our west, our fire sign. Um, this is our ancestors and this is how they speak to us. Two of Wands, it's all about this decision 
and she's holding up this moon in her hand like she has the moon which is all about love it's all about deep emotion she's holding it in her hand this is very passionate with wands and it is it can be seen as not making a decision as well she's leaning towards this decision but she really hasn't made a decision so this is saying that there's going to be an opportunity presented to you very soon but it will be your free will the ancestors are saying you have the moon in your hand wow the things you do not know that are coming your way are going to be exquisite it's almost like they have a unique surprise that they want to share with you um like i said I love you is a blessing. So there's love coming in, Cancer. Let's move to your north, your water. This is your spiritual success. It's going to give you a whole new perspective. Wow. Cancer. Hanged woman. Major Arcana on both your north node and your south node this new perspective is going to be a good good opportunity i think it's not going to be very long that you're going to hang out um i think you're going to know pretty quick what you want but there is a decision you have the decision here with the ancestors and you are listening, you're going within, you're hanging yourself out there, you're really thinking about it, and that's really important. This is something very long-term that you're stepping into. Could present itself to be a very healing situation. Let's check your moon cards, your moonology, and see how you're sitting on what cycle you're in. And that's, that's one thing the moonology cards do is they give me a way to understand what position we are in this transition. So here we go, my lovelies. Currently, the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. You may have Gemini in your chart or you might have a Gemini crossing your path. Doesn't have to be. It could be that we're looking at that Gemini um, perspective where there's two sides to every coin but the answers you need are coming they are definitely coming I think they're going to come from within but the ancestors are saying it's really your choice here we go we're going to move over here and see where you're headed next wow you know where you're headed next prosperity is where you're headed prosperity lies ahead new moon in Taurus Somebody is very stubborn, and they're not going to let go very easily. They see you, and they're coming into your path. Cancer, it's going to cause a lot of inner thinking for you. But this is prosperity, and I love you are very powerful words. Don't forget that. You know, love doesn't, true love doesn't come along too often. King of Pentacles is the catch. And you might be this energy yet. Let's work. Yeah, let's work our way over. And let's cut this deck. Ah, uh, forgive me. I don't remember the name of this deck. I've had it for a while. Now, we're going to do some clarification here. Cancer, you've got this King of Coins. Let's understand a little bit more in the mind concept of what is going to be coming towards us. In Illumination, you have the Fool. Clarity, Seven of Cups. And Wisdom, Four of Pentacles. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a Fool in Illumination. This is going to be a brand new beginning. You start off fresh. You start off full of energy, vitality, everything looking wonderful. But the clarity isn't there because you have options. And that's what's needing to be fixed right now is this confusion 
every cup has something different. Which cup do you pick? You're going to pick out one cup for yourself. You're going to have another cup come towards you. But you've got seven cups. And, and that's really... It's confusing state. And that's often the fact with the fool. Now the magician is going to come up after the fool in the story. Right? In the fool's journey. Is the magician is next. What's interesting is... It's kind of like uh, you met the magician... Which can be very manipulative energy, um, very self-serving energy. Um, but you've now got all these options. And what's interesting is your wisdom tells you either you're hanging on to something or someone's hanging on to you. If it's you um, or them, they're coveting something without speaking of it. It's kind of like... It's an illusion in a sense because they don't let on to how they feel. They hold back. Someone is holding back from the connection. And that's what's going on. That's why there's no clarity. Somebody is holding back cancer. And uh, the more they hold back, the more confusing it gets because more options come available. And that's what's being clarified by this is this... This energy here has a lot of options, and their options have muddled and um, don't bring any clarity. And because of that, they're holding back on this connection, and it's given you some wisdom to take a step back, Cancer, and just heal. Right? Okay, let's move over here and clarify this star. This is a wish fulfillment, right? In love, you have the Hierophant. <laughs> wow in trust you have the death card and in growth you have the six of pentacle bless your heart so in love you're learning a higher lesson and that is um, with the star card here it's the higher commitment to self love and it's always protecting yourself above all. And that's the commitment you make is to, to the divine, to yourself, which is bringing in wish fulfillment. In trust, um, it kind of broke your trust in this person. You thought it was going somewhere. And um, I think the options that were illuminated to you brought you the feeling that you need a different kind of new beginning. Um, your growth basically looks at this as saying, you know, I want justice. I want even give and take. And it, it, it now explains why there wasn't even give and take. Because this person was holding back because they have options. And that's fine. But you have self-love. And you do love yourself. And you're wanting to make the decision in the right way. And it is your decision. Here we go. Oof. A little bit heavier read than I expected, but uh, it's good that we get this through this, right? We work through it together. Two of Wands. Let's look at this decision, Cancer. We're going to the physical, material world, and this is where we are up here. In the ninth house, which is all about tra travel, higher education, introspect, your philosophy in life. It's the house of philosophy. Here going with what you feel is your highest goal, your highest path. That's what you're going to focus on now. Your readjusting and your commitment is going to be through this expansion and it's pulling you through this portal. This four of this four of wands is like an eleven eleven. Ha ha eleven eleven on the eleven eleven wheel of life, and we're on the eleven eleven channel. I think that means you should hit subscribe, right? Take the tarot course with me. But yeah, you're on your life path. That's what your introspect is. In dream, you have the page of wands, and experiences the tower. Damn. So there's something coming up that you're not expecting and that you haven't experienced before. And you are the foundation. It just crumbled. And you're going to rebuild. Um, in your perspective, it wasn't much of an offer after all. It was more or less based on this um, passionate offer. 
of a new beginning. Very immature offer. And you see it for what it's worth. And you're moving on. You're definitely moving on. You have a whole new perspective now. The new perspective is this full position coming in. And this king of coins could be this person coming in next. The real deal. This energy here is solid. This can be trusted. And it's filtering in, which is pushing this tower. And I think this is the king of coins you don't see coming from behind. So this... This options and this holding on could be that there is somebody that you are not expecting coming into your new energy as you release this old feeling of in and out energy, you know, that left you so unsettled. So this tower comes in and gives you a whole new perspective. I'm going to tell you, it's a good perspective. This is one of the best towers you can get because it's about prosperity coming ahead. It's about answers that you need and the clarity that you seek is all coming in. Spiritual success. Here we go, lovelies. I tell you. Renewal. Nine of Pentacles. Cleansing. Empress. And purity. Two of pentacles yeah you're you're definitely getting into your purity is to seek balance and you're finding it within because you are walking the higher path that that is putting yourself first and realizing you don't want to be an option you are the empress you are beautiful you are self-reliant you are someone the universe sees is very powerful and uh, the renewal is to go back and start this new beginning solid and independent you know the solid independent beautiful rebirth of who you are has answered Questions you, you really didn't even know you knew the answers to. I feel like there was some communication that came in, perhaps, that threw you for a loop. And you ended up in the hanged man position, hanged woman. And it caused decision to be made. And that was to love yourself before you give your love to others. I love you to the moon and back, Cancer, and I always will. I'm a Gemini, see? I love you. The answers you seek are coming, or the ones you need. Much love, much light. Namaste.